back to another video on my channel sorry for the lack of um video on the midweek car this week uh, i just haven't had enough time to get around to making a video and i'm probably not even gonna play that week uh but looking at now last week uh, we just had the judging video out right now and um i look back in my videos to see what sort of uh, predictions i give out because I, I like to see how close you would have been and the corners were 1768 880 and looking at the first video I made, we did put a coordinate, which was 1773881. So looking back and forth, there's five coordinates out on the x-axis and one coordinate out on the y. So that possibly could have been a, a runner-up ticket. So hopefully you took the advice on the, the first one and not the second one, because the second one was uh, a bit higher. I think probably would have been within zone two or zone three, probably zone two. But the, the coordinates that I give in the first video would have been bang on zone one. You would have had a, a lot of money back. Uh, hopefully you did. Let me know in, in the comments below how close you was. And hopefully you took the advice on the first video. And uh, let me know how you done. But uh, moving on now, we're, we're into another week of the dream car. And yet again, it's the dream car and £50,000. And there is it's another tough photo. Uh Last week's photo was a bit easy on the dream car, so I think a lot of people would have had their money back and uh, a lot of people would have been playing again. They probably would have got a lot more confidence in playing again after the judging was much better this week. Some of the coordinates were way off again in the in the midweek, but luckily they, they brought the cluster closer and uh, played to where the majority of players were actually going to play their tickets. So it was a, a very big positive again this week. But we're going to move into this video now and uh, obviously we got a, a tough photo. We got two guys going up for a head. Uh, I don't think we can claim this guy or the the guy watching because they're looking in completely different directions. But to me, the guy in orange has jumped up for a head. Uh, he's above the guy in blue. He's got up early. I think he's going to be the one that the ball is going to be coming to. And uh, this guy's just going to watch the ball come over and watch the guy head in the ball. That's my view on it. We'll get we'll get lines done now and we'll see we'll see where we add up. So to me, uh, I think we'll probably work off. This guy first, as we have two eyes to work off rather than one. And I think he's going to be looking around this area around here. Looking, it's pretty straightforward where his eyes are looking. They're not going to be looking anywhere else. Uh, we're taking it from the center of the eye. And then we have to guess on the second eye. I thought we could see the second one, but you couldn't. And uh, that won't be too far off the, the first eye, I don't believe. So I think within this range around here would be decent. His hand is quite off put in, but that's just the way people jump. Sometimes they, they jump with their hands up in the air. You don't see anyone jumping with the the uh, hands on the sides or down by the waist. But um, we'll, we'll look at this guy now and we'll see where what sort of direction the balls are coming from. So I think the highest point it could be probably around that range and then the lowest point I do probably around here we have to take we have to remember the ball's coming to his forehead it's not going to be coming to the top of his head when you go to head or a ball normally you go for the forehead I know the judges uh, this week well the last few weeks are going off the game situation rather than the eyes and I've seen a lot of people kicking off about that but you got to think about it in the game situation on where the ball's going. Uh, that's the way I play anyway, and uh, that's the way I think I'll always play. So to me, I think is the middle of that is around this area there. And then the middle of this one is around that area. So we'll set our uh, average coordinate this week. Uh, uh, well, before finding the average, I'll take the lines off and make sure everything makes sense. And to me, that makes perfect sense. Both players looking up at the ball. The ball's going to be at quite a far distance, even though the guy's probably a full leaper there. He could hold off the guy in blue. He could climb on him, ready to win the ball. So I think that's a decent area. If anything, it could be a bit higher. I think he could be looking a bit higher. So if I was to re replay that point there, I'd probably play it around that area. It's a bit higher than what the average is, but I think that's a decent area. So uh, I'm I'm happy to set my cluster around that area, which is twelve ninety seven two one, and then uh, we'll set our cluster and see how that looks as a big cluster. Um, if you are not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. We are getting closer again, so the judging's on our side again, and we are getting closer. So 
hit that subscribe button if you can and the like button to let me know that uh, you're still there you're still supporting the channel i have been getting dislikes lately but i expect that but um we're we're heavily out out doing the dislikes with the likes and uh i thank everyone for that but that's gonna be it for this video guys i will be making another one at the end of the week i'm happy with the the way this looks at the moment but i will revisit it uh let me know how you done last week in the comments below and uh, I'll, I'll look through them and uh we'll 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 heart some of them and like some of them uh, but that's it for this video. Uh, I'll be here at the end of the week and uh, I'll see you in the next one.